In the problem, the walls of the two connecting cylinders are adiabatic. The cross-sectional areas are A1 and A2. There is a well-fitting but freely moving thermally insulating piston in each cylinder at a distance L1 is equal to L2 is equal to L from the point where the cross-sectional area changes. So these are the distances L1 and L2 of the pistons. The pistons are connected by a thin rigid rod. The enclosed volume contains a diatomic gas. The temperature and pressure are T0 and P0 both inside and outside. The heater filament is operated for T seconds for power P. Find in equilibrium position the final temperature and displacement of the pistons. Here we are given that the frictions and the pistons are freely moving that means there is no friction involved. Without friction the pistons can move in the cylinder. The walls are adiabatic and the pistons are insulating that means the only mode of heat transfer is this filament. The heat will come to the gas from this filament and no heat will leave outside the chamber or the gas. Let us draw the diagram at any intermediate stage. I am drawing the diagram of the two pistons and this rigid rod. Suppose inside pressure is P then force on this piston will be P into A1 and outside pressure will remain constant so it will be P0 A1 force on this piston will be P into A2 and from outside pressure the force will be P0 into A2 For equilibrium of this system, we can write net force towards right is equal to net force towards left. P0 into A1 plus P into A2. This is equal to P into A1 plus P0 into A2. P A1. and this will go there P0 A2 minus A1 and from here you can see P is equal to P0 that means pressure inside remains constant during the process and this process we conclude that this is isobaric process so heat will come and the gas will try to expand this piston should move towards right and this is also moving towards right. In the final equilibrium situation, suppose this piston has moved by a distance equal to x and it will also move by a distance x. We have to calculate the final temperature and displacement of the piston and the process is isobaric. For isobaric process, the heat exchanged Q can be written as NCP delta T and Q can be calculated from this information power multiplied by time. So Q is equal to PD. CP for diatomic gas is 7 R by 2. Number of moles are not given here. So for number of moles we can use the relation. We are given the initial pressure, we are given the area, initial, uh, we are given the areas and initial lens L1 and L2. So from initial condition, we can write P0 V0, let's say initial volume is V0. This is equal to NR and initial temperature is T0. V0 can be written the total volume initially is A1 L1 plus A2 L2. <coughs> now use this equation. Q is known and N can be known from here. Cp is known from here and we can find the change in temperature. So Q is P into T. N 
cp is 7r by 2 into delta t and this delta t is now equal to 2 pt divided by 7 nr and for nr we can use this expression 2 pt divided by 7 and nr is p naught v naught by t1 so it will be p naught v naught by t naught so t naught will go up for v naught we can put this expression so it will be 2 pt divided by 7 p naught and v naught is the initial volume a1 l1 plus a2 l2 this change in temperature can be written as if final temperature is t so it is t minus t naught and this t minus t naught is this total expression 2 pt t naught divided by 7 p naught a1 l1 plus a2 l2 for calculating final temperature t naught will go there and t is equal to t naught plus this expression so from this relation we can find the final temperature of the gas now to find the displacement of the pistons the piston suppose piston is moving by distance x and this will also move by the distance x since both are connected with the rigid rod so from pv is equal to nrt let us differentiate this equation and it will give p delta v this is equal to n r delta t p remains constant here and this p is always equal to p naught delta v is change in volume n r delta t is change in temperature now we know the change in temperature change in temperature is known to us n r can be put from this information p naught v naught is equal to n r t naught delta v so delta v we can write like this delta v is equal to <coughs> if this piston move in this direction then volume it will tend to decrease the volume if this piston will move in this direction it will tend to increase the volume so this much volume of the gas is increased and from moment of this piston this much volume is decreased so we can see increase is more than decrease in this volume so net increase net increase in the volume will be a2x minus a1x so change in volume is a2x minus a1x that is the difference so it will be equal to the difference of the cross-sectional area multiplied by the displacement of the piston which is equal to x so delta v is known in terms of the displacement of the piston and we have to calculate the displacement of the piston this p is equal to p naught delta v is a2 minus a1 into x and this is equal to we can put nr as p naught v naught divided by t naught and delta t we can put i am putting this uh, from this information and from this information this delta t is twice pt divided by 7 nr so finally we can find x is equal to finally this x is equal to 2 pt divided by this uh, 7 p naught a to minus 7